Well, hello. <laughs> the title of the video for this for the 17th of May is Love is the Only Answer. That was the title or that title was written this morning after I watched a video by David Icke. It must have been given in preparation for the day that lay ahead of me. I had to take a taxi for the first time in my life and it cost $50 to go from the hotel to the home of a, of a new friend. I think the driver simply rounded off a higher number since the price quoted was a few dollars higher than that. He and I simply had a lot in common. Let's see, and I forgot a letter there. Including our age, 69. He retires in a week. Then I met a couple that had invited me to stay there for a time. We had a great conversation, after which I laid down for a while, though I could not sleep. They had left on an errand. I got up and set up my computer and organized my things. My hostess came home and tried to, and I tried to reach PayPal again to transfer money from my regular PayPal account to my new PayPal MasterCard account. It was not working and I went all the way up to the supervisor in Australia. Yes, I was upset and raised my voice, which greatly upset my hostess. And now, as Paul Harvey used to say, here's the rest of the story. <laughs> Indeed, uh, this has been a troubling day in many respects. Uh, I'm recording this video earlier than I normally do uh, because the hotel that I'm staying at you have a three hour window uh, and then you have to enter new pass, uh, pass codes, two of them, one for a username and one for a, a password. And when we first tried to get online, it wasn't working. He was here like three different times uh, for that to handle that situation. And we finally, after rebooting my computer a couple of times, we finally, it finally clicked in and, and it registered uh, and opened, opened up the internet for me. <laughs> uh, we had entered the, the numbers a long time earlier, like an hour earlier, and we were playing with it for at least, at least an hour before we could finally open a web page. Uh, and then every three hours now, I have paper number two, three, and four. I have to go and, ref and, and enter the numbers in again, and it's a different password and different uh, username each time. And it's not one that I choose. It's one that's chosen by a computer-generated system. So I had him here, as I said, three times in the room trying to... He'd, he'd come in here for a little bit, we'd try stuff, and then he'd have to go back to the, to the office, and then he'd come back again. And, and anyway, I just had to go back and get him another time because the heat wasn't working. And wouldn't you know it, it requires a remote control. Now, uh, a little bit ago, I got a telephone call from my, the hostess of the account, and, you know, I upset her. And... I understand. I mean, she explained to me uh, what raised voices do to her psychologically. And yes, I, I know it, it doesn't. I don't like to raise my voice, uh, at least not when I'm fr as frustrated as I was feeling with the PayPal people. Uh, but I did. I raised my voice. You know, I was really upset that they could not resolve the issue. Uh, that it has to go back to the United States, and I don't have ability to call the United States from Australia. You see, I, I've sent them emails, but they don't respond. And and so it, it frustrates me that I cannot get resolution to all, your, all of you that donated money. I can't access it. They said I have to put it in my bank. Well, it doesn't do me any good to have it in my bank when I need it here now, that's why I got a PayPal MasterCard, so that I could use it on the trip. And I don't like to put things in my bank because it makes the government think 
that I have more money than what I really do have, and it's and it's not income. It's it has nothing to do with income. It has to do with special a special program or something like that. But it's not. I don't work for a living. You know, I collect Social Security. So anyway, I got a call from from the lady, and uh, I I had apologized to her even before I left the house because I. You know, I didn't mean to upset her, but she also apologized to me and and invited me to connect with her again during this trip, and uh, actually uh, made some other arrangements with me if if I if I'm willing to take them and she would like to get together and talk again. I mean, we a beautiful woman. I mean, I, I understand every everything she explained to me about the about the raising of voices and stuff like that. I, I get it. I really do get it, and I, I think that now that everything is going to to prove what the title was at the beginning that I wrote before any of this happened today, before I had to pay and and a hundred and twenty dollars for a night in a hotel and thirty dollars for a taxi to uh, to get me here. Uh, you know, I didn't expect that. I spent eighty dollars today on taxis. Just just under eighty dollars was not quite thirty dollars, but uh, twenty seven something I think is is what it was or twenty eight something something around there. But it doesn't matter. Uh, the the beautiful thing is love is the only answer, and 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 I apologize lovingly because I meant it. I didn't mean to hurt her. Uh, I didn't mean to offend by raising my voices, my voices, my voice. Uh, and I was really, really happy to get the love that I expressed back to me. Uh, and this is a beautiful thing. Love is the only answer, folks. And if we're, if we don't learn how to love one another, and I'm talking about across the board, and stop playing one-upmanship with each other, stop trying to prove the other person wrong. It's not that they're wrong. They are where they are. And, and you that tr are trying to prove somebody else wrong, you're playing a game that is designed by the cabal to pit us against each other. It's, a, it's designed by, if you will, in my opinion, dark forces, not honorable, loving forces that teach that love is the only answer. They, they teach the exact opposite. Selfishness is the only answer to to, to the mindset of control. And I want to be out of the mindset of control so much. I want to live in a world. I want to see a world that's healing, a world that's coming home to what we were created to be in the first place, loving children of God who he help each other, where we don't even ultimately need healing because we, we recognize our wholeness and we learn how to walk in it beyond all of the brainwashing that we've had to endure for God knows how long. Anyway, love is the only answer and that is the message for today. And it's been a tiring day. That's why I'm doing this video early in case I can't get the internet back up again. Um, but uh, thank you for listening and namaste.